We take a look at all the latest clues from those White Rabbit QR code teasers. Could it be a major WWE return elsewhere? A WWE star has made a shocking in-ring comeback and another Raw superstar could be getting an old gimmick back. More on that in this video. Hello everyone, Jack and Ross here. More QR code stuff. First of all, were you disappointed that the surprise wasn't revealed on last night's Raw? No. The clues seem to be suggesting that it would be last week's SmackDown, then this week's Raw. I'm fine for this to keep going for a long time. Okay. Because this has got the wrestling world talking. And the more the wrestling world talks about stuff like this and not other stuff, that's a good thing in my book. That's very true. Uh, during Raw, we saw another, another QR code. Uh, this time it was on the front of the announce table. It also flashed briefly on the screen at one point. When you scan the code, it shows you a TikTok from the account underscore Come With Me. By Special D. Yeah, what you? Uh, it features clips of stars such as Ross, John Cena, Cody Rhodes, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Randy Orton, Road Dogg, Kurt Angle, Edge, The Undertaker, Papa Shango, and more. What could the link there be? I've got, I don't know. It's just literally those people have been spliced together, by putting together the sentence, who killed the world, you did feed your head. So it's got Kurt Angle saying one word. I don't know how it works like it's that. It's quite creepy. But there is one word which I could not work out who it is. It's when someone says did in the middle of that sentence there. It's like a, a silhouette sort of thing it's like all distorted and whatnot okay. who the hell was it if you know who it was let me know down below um quite creepy quite effective but uh all of these sentences and things and come with me and who killed the world it feels wyattian doesn't it well he did have the whole world in his hands he, he was did. the eater of worlds yes he traveled the world as a professional wrestler yes he I lives mean, in yeah. the world that, now you've widened the net a little I mean, bit there. He has a head. He yeah. likes to feed himself. Yeah, fair enough. Amazing. Uh, now we're getting into more cryptic clues, which the internet Twitter journalists and that <laughs> just found out instantly what it meant. <laughs> but the video itself is titled uh, A Set of Coordinates. The coordinates lead to a place in Via Artesina, Artesina, Italy, the site of the giant pink bunny. Which is literally a giant pink bunny. Like in America, when you get the world's largest banana. Just a massive the pink the... floppy bunny. Oh, why don't we have more stuff like We've that? We've got a big white horse, but it's not a physical white horse, is it? It's just in the grass, isn't mm. it? But oh. this is a proper big white, uh, pinkish, whitish bunny. Wow. Uh, yeah. the, the zip code 40701 also flashed on the screen, which is the... Now, this is where things got confusing last night momentarily, because that's the zip code for a place called Corbin, Kentucky. Corbin? <laughs> Who's been missing from TV for a couple of weeks there, Jack? Who oh. got into a big limousine with JBL and drove away it's bloody big happy Corbin isn't it I but think, it's, it's not him don't worry well that's that seems to be there seems to be a few red herrings thrown in another one is that there was a message within the source code whatever that is I'm not a tech man bit, bit at the top like the URL yeah I, know, oh. I don't know or if you right click and then open the that th Adam spoke about doing something to the URL then going into some uh, other thing and then he that's he was looking for clues on that last week but there was, no, there, was, there was no clues last week okay fair enough uh, well, no, just where, we, we went outside didn't we you know, <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> There'll be viewers who know instantly what it means, <laughs> and I'm sure. Uh, but that, that source code says, no man is ever truly good, no man is ever truly <laughs> evil. <laughs> which obviously, yeah, they were the lyrics to Alistair Black's old WWE theme. And there's rumours about him, you know, be taking a break from AEW at the moment. Well, he is taking a break from AEW at the moment, so they're putting two and two together and making some saucy... I think they're being teasers there. ...scandalous rumours, aren't they? I think they're being teasers. And I think it's quite unfair to Malachi Black as well <laughs> yeah. that they've done that, actually. Uh, right, a little bit more now. On, oh, also the live crowd got another rendition of Feed Your Head during the break. Once more with the ambient red lighting. Comes on when it says remember. And it's the fiend. It's got to be the fiend. <laughs> now, people on Twitter such as Sean Ross Sapp and the account Shelton at Shelton TJ or TJ Shelton uh, started investigating what these clues possibly meant. And they found that a record company in Corbin, Kentucky is called White Rabbit Records. Mm. And then this is where I'm starting to enjoy it because they've really got, gone deep here, WWE. Then the White Rabbit Records from Corbin Kentucky's YouTube account put up a video uh, about sort of like minutes after this all happened on Raw and it was just titled 04062 which is the zip code for a city called Wyndham. Whose else's name is Wyndham? Bray Wyatt's name is Wyndham. Yes and it is. And IRS's name is also. Oh, and Barry yes. Wyndham. And Barry Wyndham. Oh no wait IRS is Rotunda sorry. <laughs> Barry Wyndham. <laughs> but Bray Wyatt's name is Wyndham. It all adds up. Um, it does. Also, Sean Rossap points out that there is a 930YWG in the URL of the White Rabbit video. Now, 930 is the Americanized date of this weekend's Smackdown, the, the, 9th of the, the 30th of September. <laughs> and also, YWG is the area code or the code for Winnipeg Airport and the shows in Winnipeg. Not at the airport, what? though. They'll, go, they'll fly into the airport, then go to the arena yeah. in Winnipeg. 
Yeah, that's how that works. And then also, one uh, more clue put out there in the world by Sean Ross Sapp and others, I do believe. This has gone the under f- the other page there, Ross, just the before you... F- the Fiend defended the Universal title against The Miz in January 2020 at that place in that there Winnipeg. And also, Bray Wyatt's last match before becoming The Fiend in the summer of 2019 was against Baron wind up Corbin oh, which, wow. which ties into the whole Corbin Kentucky sort of thing so there are all your clues I think we've covered all the bases there no doubt we've missed something let us know if we have down below I'm glad that we've I'm glad that's over now that was <laughs> no it, it'll just carry on won't it they yeah. really seem to have thought this through quite a lot though which is nice to see it's it's it has the hallmarks of a Bray Wyatt slash Wyndham slash Wyatt six thing because he mm. put a lot of thought into everything he did didn't he more so than everything else on the show back what in the day I, what I will say is with all this build up though and all this intrigue when he comes back it needs to be big it needs to be Bray though that doesn't it it's, just, it's, it's still not confirmed is it imagine if it's someone else oh. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. I'd be really shocked. Would you eat your hat? No, I wouldn't eat my hat. I'm not going to make the Sam Driver mistake. What was his hat wager again? The hey, Moxley was leaving work, work, yeah. yeah. <laughs> AW World Champion John Moxley there. <laughs> um, there's been some surprise comebacks on tonight's Raw as well. Uh, the first saw Candice LeRae, Mrs. Wrestling, make her return to WWE as a surprise opponent for Nikki A.S.H. Sean Ross Sapp said as well on Twitter that um, the internal running order in WWE had Dewdrop as Nikki A.S.H.'s opponent. And that's fantastic. Just to keep it all secret. Because it didn't get spoiled. No mm. inkling whatsoever she was coming back. She just played uh, uh, Nikki A.S.H. was in the ring. They just played her theme and then just the crowd had to wait, obviously, until Candice LeRae popped up on the trunks. It's been a while since we've heard mm. that little bit of music from the NXT days. And then down she came and she looked, looked like she hadn't lost a step. Yes. Yeah. Very good stuff. Uh, despite having a child. So yeah. fair play to her. Um, <laughs> it was a quick match, though, but she got the win. And um, it all it all looks good for, for her and Gargano it and does, Child yes. and, and the dog. And the dog and Lord Indy me. Hartwell and Austin Theory. And their children. Their children. And we'll have children. an update on Nikki SH in video two of today because it looks like change could be afoot for that young lady after such a crushing defeat. That's actually in this video. So don't, don't worry. Yeah, bollocks. don't worry. Um, but, we'll, but first, we'll talk about the other comeback on Raw last night, which was that Edge made a surprising return. I say surprising because he's barely been away. He broke his leg. And now he's back. Jimmy <laughs> Smith was there with the diagnosis <laughs> straight away. Yeah. Finn Balor did some stuff to Ed, Edge's leg a couple of weeks ago. By God, his leg is broken and he's back within a couple of weeks a couple of weeks we had a little tease from Rey Mysterio last mm. week saying Edge might be injured but he's always in the fight when he's ready <laughs> something like that and back he came last night solid fingers yeah. there <laughs> uh, but Edge came back after last night's main event fending the judgement day off because they were attacking Riddle uh, afterwards he got on the mic and said I'm just sick of dealing with the judgement day this has to end so he's challenged Finn Balor to an I quit match yeah. for Extreme Rules and interestingly on the little tease on Dullery.com which I don't know if the editor might fancy putting on that screen behind us they said Edge looks to seek to destroy seek to destroy hey Finn Balor could do the old oh. Metallica brum, ba, bum, bum, bum. just like that uh, <laughs> and finally could a Raw star be getting a gimmick change because after her loss to Candice LeRae last night Nikki A.S.H. had a breakdown in the ring Ross and took off her mask as well mm. and then commentary uh, commentary said that we could see Nikki collapse what Whoa. did she collapse we could be seeing her collapse oh we could be seeing her collapse her mental uh, stay yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a slow build this one because over the past few weeks we've seen in the background of interviews and stuff like that Nikki A.S.H. and Dewdrop having a little argument then it would go to a different realm the upside down called NXT 2.0 mm. be a happy as Larry tag team there come back to the main roster fall out go back to NXT and tag team again and now it looks like they're finally going their separate ways and Nikki A.S.H. might be getting a new gimmick and I think it's a very good thing yes. for her or an old gimmick yeah. Perhaps. Because since Triple H took control, many stars have either been approaching a gimmick change and then gone now, or just changed their gimmick outright. And, and I think Nikki, if she went back to Nikki Cross, would be just a positive move across the board for her. Oh, big time. She's yeah. set herself apart in the division straight away. There's no one like Nikki Cross in the in the, in the the wrestling world There's today, no, is there? Do you remember when she was having last man, last woman standing matches against Asuka? Yeah. Was it Asuka she had it one was, against yeah, in NXT? Yeah, they did the big thing through oh, the table, didn't they? That yeah. was great. When she was... Wild and crazy. Oh, I hope she just goes back to that. Yeah. I don't even need to see a new gimmick from. No. Excellent stuff. Right. Well, there we go. We've um, we've co- I think we've covered all the clues for Why the. I? If we've missed any of the clues for the whole white rabbit stuff, please let us know in the comments section down below. And stay tuned for more news later on today as well. I've been Jack. This has been Ross, and we'll see you very soon. <laughs>